channel i'm back with another video if you're new here please make sure you um subscribe to my channel i'm going to be talking about what's in my hospital bed plus what's in baby's hospital bed and yes so really let's jump right in um this is my fourth baby and we're going to have a scheduled c-section i have literally like 10 more days left till i have my baby and it's bittersweet but i'm happy this is going to be my last pregnancy meanwhile and while in labor i'm going to be getting a tubal ligmentation you know if you don't know what that means it's getting my tubes tied so this definitely will be my last pregnancy and let's see what's going to be in the hospital bag since this is my fourth baby i didn't pack as much as i would with my first but this is something some of the essential things that i would need being that i'm a seasonal mom and i know what the hospital will provide and will not provide so of course i'm gonna start off first got me some pads even though they still give you pads i like to have my own because they have the really small ones and i like to have the big ones on basically like i have a diaper on or something i don't know but yes um i got me my clothes first i'm gonna start by showing the um nursing bra i have four of these different colors they're like gray black but um yes yeah, these are nursing bras they um strap and un and unsnap snap it back in place sometimes it's a it's a little hard to do that like when you're trying to get it back snapped on but i'll make it work i got a lot of hospital gowns from um walmart you can find them at your local walmart they're very comfortable um i love them and i got a whole bunch of these because you really gonna be in the hospital bed most of the time especially if you get in the um c-section and you really get out like they ask you to walk around a couple times but you know that's just to get back used to walking because once you first get a c-section you'll be bound to the bed for hours until the medicine where i like the numbness and you can feel your legs and stuff again so i just got a lot of mumu gowns to wear in the bed because i'm not going to wear it's gonna be me baby baby and the husband and um i got some nice cute little hospital gowns because I'm not gonna be going nowhere no time soon after a c-section because it's not much you could do because you're gonna be healing from um abdominal surgery and i got me a going home outfit i thought it was really cute i saw it in walmart um you know how they have the uh graphic graphic t-shirts in the men's section it said i'm fine everything is fine why the man sent like this i thought that was super cute i was like i should get this and um i could just wear it home from the hospital i got me some shorts to go with it um i was gonna get a dress because once you get the c-section and everything it's gonna be hard to um step into it but my husband's gonna be there to help me but i was gonna wear a dress because it'll be easier and i won't have to worry about stepping in and out or something but I may do I have me some house shoes because I might I might get some more slide like regular slides to go with it but I mainly got house shoes because I'm not really gonna be doing anything I'm just gonna be walking on the labor delivery hall and then back into the room in the bed and of course I decided that I want to breastfeed so I will be breastfeeding my baby girl um of course I have a lot of undies I'm not gonna show that because if you're a mother or in general just a person you know what underwear look like so yes and i have some socks of course you're gonna have some socks you want to um not have your feet be cold it does get cold in the hospital rooms and i want some socks even though they do provide socks for you if you don't have any to pack but yes i have socks and i have another pair of house slippers i think i might get some shower shoes I have some nursing pads. They do provide those too, but like I said, I like I like to have my own. So I will be bringing me my own nursing pads. The these the washable ones, and I also have the 
I also have the regular ones, the one that you throw away. I had bought a pack of these, like, just put in there, just in case. I mean, I won't be leaking that much because my breast milk won't come in that fast. It's just going to be like the colostrum and stuff like that. So, that's pretty much all. Then I have my lotion. have my body wash. I have my toothbrush. It's the travel toothbrush that folds up. That folds up and stuff. I thought it was really cute. I saw it in Walmart. That folds up. I have my shower cap. For when I take my shower with my braids and everything, I don't want to get them wet. I have my deodorant. And what else? Oh, I have my face wipes. Um, my Cetaphil face wipes. Because, yeah. I love these. I don't know if y'all will use them, but I love them. They work wonders. Um, I am going to bring my own towel and rags. I have to pack those. I haven't packed those in yet. I brought a folder in here for um, all my baby's hospital um, papers so I don't lose anything. Sometimes they provide you with like a little clear thing for it, and sometimes they don't. So I just brought one just in case, just to be on the safe side. Um, I got that pack, and I also have a breast pump. I'm not going to be taking it because I'm not going to be using it right away, but I had got one of these from Walmart. These were highly recommended because I won't be um, full on having breast milk right away. So that's something just to collect, like a milk collector, like something to collect the milk and stuff. And yes, that's all for my hospital bag, all of what I will be taking. And let's start with baby girl's bag. I never really said, I don't know why I wait till last me to say my uh, baby girl's name. Like, immediate family and people that that I talk to, they know her name. But, I don't know if you can see it, but this is my baby girl's name. Her name will be Zahara. A lot of people say Zaria. They cannot get it right. I don't know. But this is my baby girl's name. We got a cute little bag. Cute little insulated bag. I think it's super cute. And this is what will be in her bag. This is what she will be wearing when I um, introduce her to the world. It's a receiving blanket. I'm gonna swaddle her in it and swaddle, sorry, and put her bow on. So like that, I think it's gonna be super cute. I saw it on Amazon. I will link it in the description box below for if any other moms would like to get it or they have multiple ones on there, so you'll be able to pick a different color or anything that you need. I seen I have these cute little onesies. Just to wear, let her wear while we're in the hospital. Yeah, just a lot of cute little onesies, her little hat. I got her own um, shorts. I mean pants, not shorts. And her onesies to go with the outfit I was on. Matching everything together and kept them folded up so I so they don't get separated. So I'm gonna be folding it back right back up so I won't have to do it later. She got some nice little socks. I need to put them put them together. Her mittens. I'm so ready to meet her, y'all. Like it's literally bittersweet that I'm finna meet my baby, y'all. So I'm gonna be this little. <laughs> and um, yes, y'all. I have a nice lot, nice lot of onesie socks and um mittens for her little hands. And I just packed a lot of them. She's not going to wear all of these because we're not going to be in there that many days. It should be um two or three at the most. They let you stay an extra day if it um hurts really bad or if you're still in a lot of pain. You don't feel like you go home there. Just ask you whether you want to stay an extra day or go home. But most like I'm just say I want to go home because nothing like the comfort of your own home, y'all. And these, yeah, I just packed a lot of little onesies. She don't, she's not gonna need all that. I packed her extra socks just in case, like all white socks. And um, I've been debating if I want to, cause you know the people come around and they want to take the um the pictures of your baby and stuff like that. I'm being debating back and forth if that's something that I want to do because I did bring her a little outfit just in case I do do that or I may just take the pictures myself you know find a nice little backdrop and get her 
um picture in this. I think it's super cute, y'all. <laughs> I'm so ready to meet my baby girl. And yes. And that's really all that I packed in my hospital bag. Like I said, you will not need much because the hospital provides a lot of stuff, which is the uh, pampers, wipes, receiving blankets, but I'm going to bring my own too as well instead of just using the hospital ones. And they, they even provide stuff for my mom, of course. And I also have her a little boppy pillow. I'm trying to see if I want to bring it because I will be breastfeeding her, like I said. So I'm going to prop her up on it. Oh, I may look into getting a breastfeeding pillow, but that's kind of like a nursing pillow in the same. And yes, I got my baby girl, everything packed, my backpack, her backpack. And we're just waiting for the arrival of our baby. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like, comment, subscribe, and welcome to my channel. I will be posting a lot more mom content. So hope you subscribe and join the life of Ken. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.